morning everyone i hope you are all well i am coming to you from the car again um i have a rare few free hours where i have the car and i can just go off and do what i need to do and i'm bringing you with me not to just sit in the car and chat like i did in the last video but i need some things and when i say need well i do need them do i i want them but i also feel like i need them i need plate bowls um we have a set of plates we have like cereal bowls that are quite small and deep and then we have side plates that's it that's all we have we have dinner plates side plates and bowls but i'm looking for plate bowls and the reason i need these is because we just had a bolognese last week and literally my spaghetti fell off my plate first time in my adult life and i was like we need those plates with the sides like you know like a giant salad bowl and then last night i was chatting to my dad on the phone i was like i've decided i'm gonna go shopping in the morning and i'm gonna get some plows <laughs> made it up in my head thinking i made it up in my head no i'm not that genius google humbled me plow is the name of what it is i'm looking for today can you believe it a plow plow a plow in the last video if you watched it um I was having my headlights, my, no, my brake lights fixed in the car because the computer on the car told me there was a brake light fail. I went straight to Halfords, I bought the lights and I paid someone to come and do it. And I was sitting there judging others for not being able to do things that I can do when clearly most of you guys can change your own brake lights. But I didn't mean to judge. I did say in the video, we must not judge others. Um, however, what I forgot to mention in that video was that there was nothing wrong with the brake lights. She actually came. It was my turn. She came over and I was like, yep, yeah, brake lights. She said, do you know which one inside, outside? I was like, I didn't actually know we had inside and outside lights. And she said, just put your foot on the brakes for me and I'll see for myself which ones need changing. I said, okay. I put my foot on the brakes. She was like, your lights are fine. There's absolutely nothing wrong with them. And I was like, are you sure? Because the car computer told me that they're faulty. And she said, right, you can turn the engine on, roll away, drive off, put your foot on the brakes, do a loop. I'll check them. Thorough check. Fine. Brake lights were fine which is even more worrying because then that's like there's something wrong with the car's computer anyway um cut long story short which is something i'm really not good at doing i don't know if you've noticed i can't i can't do that cutting short story thing um got a refund i had to go back into health food. Oh, i didn't have to she said i could keep the receipt she could write on there was not done because didn't need save for later or you can go back in and get your 22 pound back so i just went back in and got a refund um but yeah totally forgot to say it in the video i was like damn it the video's gone up now it's too late um the other thing that i was laughing at in the video well not in the video but the fact that so many of you who join me every week um i've got such an amazing group of friends here from all over the world which is incredible it's the same on my other channel and most of you i think have come from my other channel um but just love hearing what you guys call things that are so different to how we say things like for example the windscreen i couldn't get the words out last week i was like shield windshield wash shield washer we do call our the front glass of our car the windscreen um and i don't know why the words failed me last week but that's quite common at my age um things just don't they get lost in there um but yeah we do call the front windscreen a windscreen and we call it windscreen wash and yeah i kept saying windshield like suddenly i'm american and i don't know where that came from so sorry um but also we call the bonnet so the front of the car that you lift up and the engine is all in there that's the bonnet and we call the back it's either the boot i think yeah we say the boot and i think you guys call it a trunk but yeah, so the back is the boot, the front is the bonnet, the glass is the windscreen, and these are windows. <laughs> I just love name differences. I've learned so much from just my other channel about how different words are spoken throughout the globe and how different we all are for the same thing. And I love it. I absolutely love it. Now, here's the plan. What's that? Five minutes? That's too much, Claire. Come on, sort it out here's the plan i am currently at lakeside shopping mall i very rarely come to the mall i usually go to the retail park the outskirts where you've got 
you know like the giant car park with all of the massive shops all around whereas this is the inside mall i rarely come here but we have a new marks and spencers that has just opened up it was like halfway down lakeside but now they've moved up to this area and i saw it on the telly i didn't even know it was happening i saw it on the telly like inside marks and spencers and they were talking about the new lakeside thurrock store and i was like what anyway i came here at christmas to get some christmas cheeses and stuff like that but i'm back i want to have a look at the marks and spencers homeware range now anyone who's not in the uk marks and spencers is like it's not it's not like a top high brand or anything like that but it is a bit more bougie than the range and next at home and things like that and it's way up there compared to like b&m we've got like b&m then we've got the range then we've got next home then we've got marks and spencers then we've got like john lewis and then we've got like elite stores like the elite stores that you find on oxford street in london or regent street so i'm gonna go into the brand new marks and spencers and i've been waiting for this moment since i saw it on telly and then from here once i've done m s we call it m s like molds and shapes on my other channel but anyway if you're not here from there you won't know what i'm talking about and we call it m s after i've done m s i'm gonna go back to the retail park i'm gonna check out the range next home and b and m tk maxx home sense just to look and see what they've got when it comes to kitchenware that's what we're looking for kitchenware <laughs> Shopping for kitchenware does not come so easily to me. I definitely have some quirks and I've got some things that are like my bugbears. Now, bear with me. I You have to let me know if you experience the same kind of thing as me. But when it comes to certain things in my life, they either have to be a particular shape or a particular color. And that is very true when it comes to crockery, plates, bowls, and things like that. I can only eat off of white plates. Now, whilst I see all of these sets and this color is stunning and I think, that is so beautiful i would love to be able to buy something really pretty you know these marrakesh moroccan designed crockery plates and bowls i love them all but for some reason let me know if you are the same some things have to be a certain way for me and when it comes to plates and bowls I can only eat off of white plates so that really does reduce the things I can buy and it kind of makes me crazy because I fall in love with absolutely everything that I see but I know for a fact that when it comes to purchasing everything is going to be white.
Lakeside have put in one-way restrictions. Like, I really needed to turn right there, not left. I really needed to go right. So now I have to go all the way to the end around this huge roundabout and go all the way back to get where I need to be. First world problem, I know, but it's just one of those little things that bug me. <laughs> I guess there were too many accidents over a period of time with people coming out of the car parks and just people getting in clangers and all of those things. This lorry, a uh, bit naughty, saw me coming and decided to come out anyway. This has got to be safe on these roads, guys. such high hopes for HomeSense. They had an entire row of white plates and bowls. How beautiful this looks. There definitely wasn't anything that caught my eye. This was more of the pole, like the flat bottom with the raised edges. I just felt like it wasn't enough of an edge to stop me making a mess, but they were beautiful. I love the embossed edges on this one, it just gives it a little something something, but even down to the colourful plates, they are simply divine. Like these, everything about them makes me think of like a country cottage kitchen or a farm kitchen with those coloured ceramics and the greens and the blues and the embossings. Especially, like I said, anything to do with that Marrakesh design, love it. This was a true plow. It was about as flat as you could get and it, I wasn't feeling it again. I didn't think that that lip was going to be enough for me and I get so distracted so easily with all of the wooden platters and the wooden trays and the wooden chopping boards. Ugh, why do I get so distracted? is a very solitary experience. I've seen so many TikToks comparing the USA shopping experience to the UK shopping experience. You don't get anyone asking you if you're okay in the UK. You're just left to your own devices. You crack on, you get in, you get out, you get what you need. Now, when I went into Next Home, I barely ever shop in Next, ever. But when I went in, I was immediately kind of not confronted, but immediately approached by a member of staff asking me if there's anything they can do for me, if I need any help today, if I need help finding what I want, and immediately I was like, please go away. <laughs> I was like, I'm fine, thank you so much. I am not used to that here in the UK. You are usually left alone. There was the guy, did you see the guy? That was him coming over to see if I was okay and if I needed help to find anything. Now next had what I can only describe as the most Plowly products like this one here 
beautiful, but it reminded me of a, a larger version of George's dog bowl. <laughs> I thought, no, you cannot, you cannot buy something that resembles a dog bowl. But yeah, out of all of the shops I visited, Next was the only shop that a member of staff approached me and asked me if I needed any help. I fell in love with the embossing on this bowl. The one thing I was taking into consideration is the weight. This was so heavy. And I thought before I even put my food in there, it's unbelievably heavy and way too heavy to hold. So that was something else I was bearing in mind when it came to choosing my ploles or my bowls. Then I saw these in B&M. Do you remember I did the kitchen drawer organization? These would be perfect for my kitchen drawer organization, but they were so cheap. I did refrain. I was very good. I stuck to my cut out cardboard boxes, but even B&M is not a store I shop in that much apart from cleaning supplies. Loved again, the embossing. There is something about the whiteness, the white ceramic with the embossing, and these were quite light to hold as well. So really loved that design but the majority of the pieces I was picking up in stores were so heavy before you even add food. And I don't like that. I like my items to be white. I wanna eat off of a white surface, but I also like them to be lightweight. Appalachian sunrise meets my skin. Even with my eyes still closed, I can feel it coming in. Golden, I'll follow home. Golden, 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 golden things. Mountain Laurel High Five. Miles in spring, rainbow trout and hummingbird wing. Golden, I'll follow them. Golden, golden, golden things. Gold hair, gold ring. range had some of the most beautiful giant bowls almost like centerpiece bowls and the embossing i'm obsessed fully obsessed with embossing these were stunning again i love the look of these the colors that they had in the range they had this whole entire set with the embossing around the corner 
and around the edges, sorry, and they came in almost every color. This upsets me. Again, I've got my quirks, I've got my weirdness. Irregular shaped plates, like wobbly edges and irregular shape, like that organic vibe. I, I can't, I just can't. So I am letting you in to the inner workings of my psyche here, guys. There are some things that truly upset me and some things I just can't have. Like this, stunning, stunning. I think they are simply beautiful. The aesthetic, I love everything about them, but I need a white plate. So yeah, again, black. I could never eat off of a black plate. Now, don't get me wrong. If I went into a restaurant and I had rectangular, oval, diamond shaped, any color, any size, not an issue in a restaurant at all. It adds to the experience. But for me and my home, uh, can't, can't do it. it comes when I fall. I didn't go off list at all, apart from George's training treats, which we ran out of, I got some training treats. But I think that was a pretty successful morning. Um, it was very hard going in for one specific thing, knowing exactly what I wanted and not let my eyes kind of stray. But everywhere is packed with Easter. And I have to be honest, I was, most happy and most disappointed so i was most disappointed with marks and spencer's range like i don't know it was literally one shelf of homeware so that was a shock like i know that i know marks and spencer's does a lot of things they've got to fit everything in but i would it feels like the new store is way smaller than the old store they used to be like in the middle of lakeside three stories and now they've moved on to the end of the mall so yeah, most disappointed, most impressed with the range. I, like, I'm still sitting outside the range. <laughs> I am just really shocked at the range that the range had. <laughs> uh, I wonder how it got its name. But yeah, I, I go into the range, you would have seen me predominantly for their art supplies, craft supplies, sometimes cleaning supplies and home decor like decorations ornaments and objects i've never really looked through their kitchenware their actual crockery their homeware the unbelievable range in the range so yeah and even bnm i was quite surprised that i liked things in bnm again it's just sometimes not my vibe in there at all but actually they had some nice bits um but yeah nice surprises i got what i needed so i'm gonna get home and show you what i got and then i cannot wait to cook a dinner that is gonna not fall out of my plate and it's gonna stay contained <laughs> it is a lot later now in the evening I've just cooked dinner um, and i will show you that dinner afterwards but i decided to go with the B&M bowls, I thought they were absolutely beautiful, could not resist. How stunning are these? I Honestly, I was actually looking for the poles. I was looking for flat plates with a raised edged lip and seeing them in person, no, they were not for me. They were not my aesthetic at all. So I decided to go for the much larger, well, they're not large, they're not as big as a dinner plate, um, but the salad bowl style bowls, unreal. I mean, how gorgeous are these? These were three pounds each and I got a set of four. And honestly, I was so shocked with the B&M's choice. I couldn't resist. These were kind of like, I just saw them and I knew immediately that's them. That is them. After all of the shops, when you see something, you just see it and you know. So I got a set of four and yeah, they're going to go through the dishwasher labels and they come off. Then, <laughs> then, if four was not enough, I went to the range and I was so 
surprise. Well, I've already said it in the car. You know I was surprised at the range in the range. Um, and I decided to get two larger bowls. So they're, they are larger than these. You can see they're larger. But these are like deep edged big bowls. Now my plan for these is to have things like a, you know when you, you know when you make like a large Yorkshire pudding and the Yorkshire pudding is your bowl, is your container for the rest of the food. So like Tim has been itching to do giant Yorkies with everything inside the Yorkie. I thought these would be absolutely perfect for them. Now these were from the range. I can't actually remember the price. I'd have to look back over the video, but I think they were about five pounds each approximately. And I only got two of those. I didn't go crazy because they're massive and like I've got no space. So that's something I have to do is actually declutter my kitchen cupboards. So yeah, two of these and they are stunning. Just simple, beautiful, but these, I never thought I could obsess over a bowl. I just think it is just, three pounds so yeah 12 pounds on these 10 pounds for the two larger bowls not so bad we've got everything we need and now I did actually wash two up quite thoroughly I washed two and we had dinner in them tonight and they're unbelievable so much easier than having a curry on a plate where curry sauce can just drip over the edges and also our little cereal bowls they're just not cutting it they're not big enough they're not holding enough food so yeah, successful day, successful trip out. Um, I'm gonna leave it there and I hope you've enjoyed the shop with me. I definitely saw some beautiful things out and about, but I don't need it. I don't need it. I needed these. I don't need it. I don't need it. Um, yeah, that's it. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.